So let's talk about the basics of cells. Your basic structures of cells are the organelles, and we have a couple different kinds of cells that we're going to talk about. Here you have the fact that cells are the basic units of all living things. Your basic types of cells are animal cells, plant cells, and bacterial cells. Those bacterial cells are prokaryotic. They do not have a nucleus. Animal cell and plant cells are eukaryotic because they have a nucleus. So remember, prokaryotes include bacteria. They don't have a nucleus and they don't have any membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotes have a nucleus and they do have membrane-bound organelles. Two main types of eukaryotic cells are plant and animal cells. Let's talk about the organelles. They're very small in size. They can only be observed under a microscope. And they all have specific functions, but they work together to make the cell work. They're found throughout the cytoplasm in the cell. So this is our first one. This is a Golgi body. Okay, uh, Your Golgi body is like the UPS of the cell. It is stacks of flattened sacs. They receive and modify proteins made by the endoplasmic reticulum, and they package them and send them out in little transport vesicles, and those pinch off the ends like the blobs on a lava lamp. Lysosomes you won't really see on your test, but basically they contain digestive enzymes. They break down food and worn out cell parts for the cell. Your nucleolus is inside the nucleus. It makes ribosomes that make proteins. Smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Basically what you need to know is that endoplasmic reticulum makes and transports proteins. Here we have the mitochondria. It's rod shaped and you can see all the little uh, folds in the mitochondria. You can see the little folds in there. It's the site of cellular respiration. So remember, mitochondria transform energy in food into energy the cell can use. Surrounding the cell, you have a cell membrane, which is selectively permeable or semi-permeable, meaning that some things can pass through, but not all things. It controls the movement of materials into and out of the cell. The cytoplasm is on the inside. It's a jelly-like substance enclosed by the cell membrane. It's where most important chemical reactions take place, and that's where you find all the organelles. Okay, you have the nucleus that controls the activities of the cell. It's surrounded by a nuclear membrane, and it has the DNA. DNA are chromosomes. Remember that genetic material, DNA and chromosomes, are the same thing. Your chloroplast is only found in plant cells. Remember it contains the green pigment, which is chlorophyll. The chlorophyll captures energy from sunlight, and then it makes food through that process of photosynthesis. You have the cell wall in a plant cell. It's made of cellulose. It's very strong and rigid. It's only found in plant cells and it gives it that structure and rigidity. In a plant cell you have one large vacuole that primarily stores water. And in an animal cell you do not have any cell wall or chloroplasts, but there are many small vacuoles. There's little mitochondria, the nucleus, and those little bitty blue dots right there, those are your vacuoles in the animal cell. Different kinds of animal cells you can see here. And then differences between plant cells and animal cells. Animal cells are relatively smaller in size, 
whereas plant cells are typically larger. Animal cells have an irregular shape because they do not have a cell wall. Plant cells have a regular shape because they have a cell wall. So that about wraps it up. Good luck on your test.